I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my review of Coco, the Disney Pixar film. I give the movie an A+. Coco is the story about a young man named Miguel who wants to grow up to be a famous musician. The problem is his family has strictly forbidden music to be a part of their lives. Even something as simple as humming a tune is uh, considered a high crime with this family. So on the Day of the Dead, the period where the families honored their deceased, Miguel finds himself somehow magically transported to the land of the dead. Now in order to get back from the land of the dead, he has to get blessings from his ancestors. The problem is his ancestors also hate music. And the only way they'll allow Miguel to return is if he agrees to not pursue his musical uh, ambitions. So Miguel has to somehow find the one ancestor that will not only bless him to go back to the land of the living, but also bless his desire to become a famous musician. Now, normally I list a few good things and a few bad things in my review, but in this case, I'm giving all good things because every time I try to think of something negative, I feel like I'm being a jerk. I mean, I love this movie so much. I loved it from start to finish. Every time I think of something bad or something not quite right, I think, hey man, wh what are you doing? It's a fantastic movie, stop being a jerk. So I'm just gonna praise and praise and praise this movie. Uh, the colors, the, the setting, uh, the new way of showing the underworld in the afterlife, which pretty much is like the regular life, it's just a lot more bones. Uh, the um, supporting characters and the animal sidekicks, they're not annoying for a change. They're not trying to steal the show. I mean, they're funny, they're cool, but they don't uh, steal the show like many other animated films. Uh, and definitely the climax of this adventure was fantastic. Now, before I get to the climax, let me also say that uh, this movie uh, is a buddy adventure film. And to the best of my knowledge, it wasn't advertised as yet another of Pixar's buddy adventure films. They're a master of buddy adventure films, but they were pretty smart to, to be careful how they advertise and not say, oh, here's another buddy film amongst the many of the buddy films that they've done. It's fantastic, but by not knowing it's a buddy film, it took a little longer for me to figure out what was going to happen, uh, which is fine. Now, what happens is not predictable. I mean, it's predictable a little bit to me because I've seen so many movies, but still, even... Uh, by modern standard, it's not very ridiculous. It's done very well. There's no clear villain in the movie until the third act, which is uh, sort of in line with this modern age of uh, storytelling and animation, not having a true villain villain until the third act, which is great. Uh, helps keep the surprise going. And back to what I'll say about the climax. Oh my goodness. The climax had me in tears. Now, let me be clear. Uh, every once in a while, I'll catch a movie and I might drop a tear or two, but no, this movie had me in tears. I was full on crying for a solid minute with the climax. Imagine Jesse's song from Toy Story 2 and the uh, relationship and marriage and uh, tragedy sequence in the beginning of the movie Up. You know, put those uh, situations together and you get the emotional impact that um, is sort of be on display because along with uh, showing off buddy films, apparently Pixar are good with showing off old people because you get a really strong appreciation for old people in this movie, Coco, and ancestors and family uh, and things like that. So if you will watch this movie and you're not emotionally moved by the climax of the film, you need to go see a doctor or a therapist because something inside you is dead. I absolutely love this movie. I highly recommend it. I wasn't even planning on making a review for this movie. I just wanted to catch it and see it. But after I saw it, I was like, no, I have to review this movie. It is so fantastic. I have to sing its praises. And it's like, there are so many animated films that come out that are great or mediocre, but are often super merchandisingly marketable. And this movie probably isn't as much actually marketable as some of the other uh, animated series and franchises that are out there. But still, uh, if you haven't seen this movie, see this movie. If you have seen this movie and know people that haven't seen the movie, tell them to see this movie. It is a fantastic film. I absolutely love it. One of my favorites of 2017. A plus, 
A plus, A plus. Okay, that's my very one-sided review of the movie Coco. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And of course, if you didn't like my video, click the dislike button. I'm perfectly fine either way. I welcome all feedback, comments, and concerns. All right, thanks again for watching. And remember, find inspiration everywhere.